How much nitre have we picked up? Oh, there's some that hasn't been improved on that tile. Lovely. And some under the great bath. I knew the great bath was a good thing to build. There you go, that just sort of proves it. How are we doing in terms of sacrificing? Oh, nobody can keep up with us. Throwing things into a volcano is a Sarayan speciality. Nice cheeky little boost as well. 80 signs, very good. It's over a turn's worth. We'd like to see it while we can. I don't actually know if I've got a single campus going at the moment. I haven't, I've just got pins down four campuses, but I haven't actually built a single campus. So yeah, boosting astronomy could be quite difficult. Another flood in a city that I've just built and I can't take flood damage from. Oh, that wasn't even me causing that one. Look at these yields. Oh, they are tasty yields. I love them. Seven food, seven food, six food. This is going to be an insane city once this gets going. Absolutely crazy city. Instantly builds a bank and a market in this district and it gets two great work slots. I like that. That's really cool. Uh, I just need to find a commercial hub that's just been built or is just about to be finished building. I think either here is a good example and then I can just rush the bank and the market in one go. How beautiful. Now I think I've got a trader somewhere that's finished. This is the one. I'm just sending my traders now to my terrible little desert cities to try and get these to grow a little bit. I've also got what could only be described as an unholy amount. Oh, that was a bit of a misclick. An uh, unholy amount of nitre in my empire. Like I am digging up so much from the ground right now. It's the new bankrolling thing. People are kind of growing a little bit tired of horses and iron, but nitre. Oh boy. Oh, and mercantilism. Okay, this is the most exciting thing because now I can see the resources tab and how much control I have over the monopoly. So you can see, oh, there's only 12 olives on the map and I have nine of them. Gypsum, I believe I need one more and citrus, I need two more to get control. So if we just pay attention to gypsum, there's some there in Mexico City. That would be very close to a monopoly at that point. Oh my lord, this is more exciting than I thought. Oranges as well, I swear I saw one. Yeah, look, there's an orange over in just below Hong Kong. Some gypsum over here. I think I'm actually going, weirdly enough, to upgrade this all anyway, so this is pretty cool. That's my disaster going. 151. Persia's keeping track with me. They don't want me to win this, and I, I respect that. What they don't realise is that killing my own troops is somewhat of an Ursa Ryan pastime. I'm very good at it. They're never going to be able to keep up. How many cities are we on, by the way? 21 cities. Oh boy. We should be winning the score victory by some now. Yeah, it's just... A, this is the thing. When you play peaceful and you've got a bit of space, it's, it's amazing what you can get done. It's just, I'm just chilling along, having lots of fun. It's all really cool. I've just realised I need to give Hong Kong more tiles as well because I need them to get that citrus tile. That would be another one into my empire. Uh, yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I'm not far off being able to throw quite a few settlers in a lot of directions here. Like my faith income is just incredible. Let's get this settler down. I'm going to go and take the other citrus below Hong Kong. And I've already got one settler making their way over to the sea in that direction. That'll go and claim this city. I just needed this gypsum below me. So let's just take this city. There you go. I can actually get two settlers in the same turn and go down here. Again, pointless cities, but they do increase my monopolies and the monopolies give me gold. So really, is it pointless? The answer is debatably still yes, but I'm doing it anyway. There is a city just the other side of this little sea. It's doing lovely for me. You can see these floodplain tiles are looking tasty. Tasty, rithic. Om nom nom. Oh no, you're kidding me. I lost the Angkor Wat by one turn. Oh no, that's so frustrating. And a trader got plundered. This game. Oh my lord, that was two charges of a great engineer I used on that. Two charges. And then because I had industrial zone logistics queued after that point. It then rolled into that and has given me a bunch of great engineer points towards the industrial zones culture bomb, which is possibly the worst one of them all. That's just frustrating on a lot of levels. <laughs> oh dear. Never mind, I guess, but still. What a pain. Not a game for wonders. I thought, you know, when I saw the set of um, bonuses that Egypt got, I was like, you know what? This is going to be a wonderific game. It's going to be great. It really has not proven to be. I actually got 10 traders now, so I can get myself. Let's just quickly get a trader in this city, a trader in this city. Then my new four ones have all got traders. That's good. And then I want a route to Yerevan and I need to get a city that's struggling. That sort of production. This is the one. Let's do it over here. Good. That'll give us a bunch more envoys and it will help me to grow. Can't believe that. One turn. One turn, everybody. What? 
Why would the game do that to me? Two turns and yeah, okay, I think we're gonna win it. I think we're going to win it, that's, that's good. So my soothsayers will get even more powerful. Towards the end of the game, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start dumping them into the biggest rivers I've got to make them, well, just basically make the best floodplains that are physically possible to create. It should be a lot of fun. So this city state is uh, Yerevan, and actually I didn't have a sixth envoy there, which was unbelievable. So it was about 30 faith per turn I was missing out on there. But that is a good introduction. And I think it was Hong Kong I want to start sending routes to in order to just boost their borders as much as I can. Every envoy they get, their borders go out just a little bit more. I need one, two, three, four, and then a fifth. Hopefully that'll be enough for that citrus to be incorporated. Alternatively, I could start growing into the fourth ring on Ryzantium, but that city's not really growing very quick, so I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. Gothic architecture, why did I even bother, eh? <laughs> why did I even bother? Republican legacy, get back into my life. That was a much better card. Okay, we're not far off, I don't think, Owls of Minerva's next upgrade. What are we in at the moment? Oh no, we're two eras away. Goodness me. We're so early in the game still. I just, the, <laughs> my empire's looking so lovely. It's very easy to forget that we're actually not far into this game at all. Uh-oh, sea level just rose. Okay, that is flooding on tiles number one. Did I have any tiles number one? Hang on, what was it? What's it called? Lowland. Coastal Lowland number one. Let's just go and have a quick peek. I don't think any in my capital seems to have gone. I think it's all of a much lower level. But, I mean, honestly, at this point, it's always a bit difficult to say for certain. Yeah, no, I think, I think if we have a look at the Settler Lens, it's all threes and twos. So for now, for now, we're okay. Oh. But the world is now flooding quite badly, and it's mainly because of me and my soothsayers, so I probably should stop that. It says I've won. Okay, so we'll stop the soothsayers for now. I need to build my science. Yeah, I need to really build my science. That would be a really cool thing to do. If only, if only there was a way to boost one science in the desert. Oh, I just don't know it. I just feel like there should be, but there's, I'm just, I'm drawing a blank. It's just painful. What could I do? There's, there's nothing in the game that allows me for that sort of play. Ugh, I'm just gonna have to, I think I'm just gonna have to avoid science entirely. We won, we appeased the gods and all of us who says now have another random promotion. Should we go and see what it is? Oh, we moved a lot quicker there. So I think it's gonna be, so we've got Zealot and we've got Messenger, plus one charge, plus two movement. Nice. Do I just go and flood a bunch of cities? <laughs> oh, it's kind of tempting, isn't it? I really want to. It's just the most fun you can have. So this is one more gypsum into my empire. I don't think, oh no, that has created a small monopoly. I think that might now be another monopoly on gypsum. Yeah, a second one there. My bonus is now up to 1,428%. Oh, you gotta love this mode. It's so balanced. You know what, actually, it's been okay. It, this this game has been really, really good fun. I've really enjoyed the sort of Sim City aspect to it. I could go and dominate, but we know that I'm like far enough ahead now for that to be an easy thing. So I'm kind of happy to like let this culture victory play out. It feels quite good. I'm enjoying it. This has been a really fun game, like a genuinely fun game. I love the barbs in the desert, like this constant skirmish I have with them going backwards and forwards, like stopping them from invading my lands. It's really, really clever. Really fun. The only problem is there's so many barbs in the Mediterranean, I cannot get boats out. I am like physically unable to get boats out. It's hilarious. Also check this out. Nobody has a trade route to me, not even city states. Um, I'm supposed to have a bonus that gives people production when they send routes to me. The AI is just like, nope, nope, we don't like it. We don't like it at all. Uh oh, these barbs are going a bit crazy, but luckily for me, there we go, this is a good city. <laughs> what a name. Ancient walls appear and suddenly we can attack like crazy. I just bought far too many tiles, but look at this. Look how many tiles are on. Is this all on the same floodplain? I don't know if it is. River Tees. River Tees. Uh, River Tees. What about this one? River Tees. Oh my goodness, it actually is. So my soothsayers on this city would make this just the most amazing city in the world. I'm tempted just, to, you know what? I'm just gonna lean into it. Why not? Let's just do it. Let's go crazy. Who cares about the world flooding? Who cares? I know I don't. All of my cities are on the coast in floodable locations, you say? To that I say, pah, I don't care. Also, I'm taking gold per turn now. 
I, I mean, I don't know why. I just couldn't be bothered to keep pressing the right click button. I'm a very weird Civ player. And sometimes I just like, just flex into it, you know? Just chilling. Plans are all very well and good, but why have a plan when you can just improvise? Granada. Oh, I've met another city-state. It's good to meet city-states. It's fun. So this is the Renaissance era. Okay, what are we going to find in this era? No one's entirely sure. I'm in a golden age for Poland and Portugal, but nobody else is. Interesting. I could go for yet another monumentality, which would be relatively amusing because I've got 580 faith. I could start spreading my religion for science bursts. Um, Higgs and Draconis. I'm going to go monumentality. I just, I just enjoy it. It's fun. Using this great engineer twice is always relatively amusing. It's like, why? Culture bomb adjacent towers when completing industrial zones. They should give him additional ability. Something that makes the mausoleum worth it. Otherwise, kind of just, unlike all the other great generals, that, sorry, great engineers that do something, it's just a bit weird. Oh, go on then, I'll treat myself to a flood. Huzzah! Look at all those different flood tiles that go. And bam. Actually, you can see all the ones that I've had additional yields thrown into because the, yeah, the tiles are just doing a weird thing. Just hold on to that, that'll, that'll update itself in a second. The best bit is the barbarians are attacking and I can just sort of sweep them away. Oh, we didn't do any damage to them. I thought I would be able to there. How dull. One more orange tile and I haven't got a monopoly on them just yet. I need one more. This citrus is going to be the all important one. Keep sending roots to Hong Kong. That's what I need to do. Oh, actually this holy site is just about to culture bomb. That's awesome and i could get a commercial hub to do the same thing over in this direction i want to take as many of these tiles as i can so this will go one two like that and then i could in theory stick one on there to culture bomb oh i like this i like this a lot this is a pleasant thing how long have i got the world congress for another 16 turns there should be plenty of time to unleash carnage upon the world I think I'm gonna, all I'm going to do now is just flood, 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 flood. What does this do? Coastal flood land at two meters. Oh, it's going to be such a problem for me. But ultimately, when you can get the yields like you can here, why would you not? Oh, these towers. They'll sort themselves out in a second. Once I put improvements down on them, I'm just going to get rid of this thing. Um, you'll see that these will all get fixed and we can see the final yields for them. But I'll just give you a sneak peek on this towel. Yep. Already it's getting good. Oh no, it triggered a dust storm. Ah, oh, that's a bit frustrating. That's not what I wanted at all. I wanted a flood. There we go. Look at that. Much better. Finally, we can culture bomb Jerusalem. I cannot tell you how long I've been waiting for this. I could put it there, but no, this is the tile because it's not a floodplain. I just need to steal the floodplain. That's the most important one. None of the other tiles have flooded and therefore I care about them not. Zero cares. All the world is so close to flooding. Oh, I don't care though. Still doing it. We're still putting endless floods into these towels. Uh, just a little sneak teaser for you there. Oh, yes. Oh, these towels. This. This is the city. Not to say that this city is slightly overpowered, but it already has a hundred production. Just saying. Oh, it's at Corinth on a random island. Cool. Oh, thank you. That's, that's awesome. Oh, this city is going to be just the most magnificent little critter. Housing already is a problem because it's got 48 food coming in per turn. But don't worry, the lighthouse gives it another one. That's good. We can do a shrine. I mean, the shrine isn't really going to do much, but I guess we've got 1,200 coming in per turn gold-wise, so we might as well plonk it down. Actually, putting... Yeah, that's weird. I actually got housing by putting a temple in. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work like that. From water, from buildings, it says from buildings. I don't think I do get it. I think it's, is it the lighthouse? Plus two housing of the city is adjacent to coast. That's what it was. The lighthouse hadn't factored in correctly. Okay, well, there we go. That's, that's what that one was. Anybody saying culture bomb? Cause you know, I am. I'm saying culture bomb. I'm just trying to think of the best, best tower that I can put there. I could put, should we put an entertainment complex down to make the city really happy and I can start putting pressure? You know what? I will. Let's have a two turn entertainment complex just as the floods continue. Long, long may the floods continue. Germany, we're actually meeting people again. That's really nice because like, honestly, I've just got so many resources I'm digging from the ground. I just meeting people is wonderful because I'm just like, everybody come in. 
take my stuff. Doesn't matter if you're even, you know, cheating me out of things. I'm just, I'm just flinging it at people. Uh, Culture-wise, even though I'm now getting a 1,512% resource bonus, because it's all religious, I'm managing to keep it down at the moment, but that will start to go a bit crazy <laughs> imminently. Actually, the one thing this needs is religion, but luckily I managed to get a missionary over to my new city down there, and it finally has taken. Perfect. Now I can throw out some missionaries. That was a big science boost, by the way, so that helps a lot. Ooh, the first um, holy sites are finishing around Sahara. Now, this is something I would love to get sorted out. Come on, Gerdowers are going to help me to just get this sorted. Why can I not build that? Requires a temple building. Oh, oh dear. What's going on here? Come on, get those buildings in. I've got so many resources right now. I'm just throwing them at my cities. Okay, cool. Well, you go and build those buildings quickly for me whilst I'm waiting. But oh, the preserves are so close now. So close. Still flooding. Still doing double floods every turn. At this point, I don't care if my kingdom sinks. I just don't. It's got nothing to do with me. I'm having a great time. Oh, and of course, okay, right, so loyalty doesn't change, obviously, in um, Carthage cities. I heard you screaming, don't worry, we, we figured it out eventually. <laughs> Still though, it's good fun to have that effect. Well, I've also finally got Moksha with the promotion that lets them instantly build districts, so that'll get these preserves done nicely as well. Very good. Still flooding my city. La 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 la. World is melting fast. And I culture bombed these tiles. Yeah, Carthage is not going to be so happy about me doing that, but ultimately I don't care. I was just thinking though, I might be able to steal a couple of oranges. If I could do that, I could get a monopoly. I don't know if I can, but if I, if I, if I can pull this off, I can settle over here and I can go bump and, and put district down, like two districts and, and steal it. Yeah, I think this might be possible. Oh, this, this city's got so much production, it's just like, oh yes, would you now like the Torre de Belém in six turns? It's like, yes, yes I would. Thank you very much. Oh, people are finally trading with me now. I was wondering when that would happen. I was like, people get benefits from trading with me, so do it. Send roots to me. Why, why would you not? Don't understand. Bit of wonder construction. Nice. I've just got to double check what wonders I can still get, because there aren't many left. Oh, I know which wonder I'm going to have to get. Uh, I don't know why I'm even asking. Right, campus. <laughs> nice plus seven there, but we know what's going to happen, don't we? So just... Just wait. It's all good. It's all fine. Yet another little genius play. I put two envoys into Granada and noticed that they wanted the uh, boost to square rigging, which is kill something with a musket. So I bought a man at arms in that barb camp. It appeared here and I immediately upgraded it with my knighter to a musket and now it stood by some things that I can kill. So it's like, yay, it worked. Um, that's three floods in one turn, by the way. If that doesn't make the world flood, I don't know what will. Again though, I'd rather just see the world burn. Honestly, it's good fun for me. There we go. We have a lot of permanent coastal flooding now. Oh dear. It doesn't matter though. I'd rather lose some tiles just here and there. They don't mind, they don't matter to me. Not when I have the super city. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, the tiles are great. 168 production in this city now. 168. And it could get better. And it shall. Especially because I'm getting huge science boosts from spreading my religion to it now because there's 11 population. This is now almost my, my new capital. Is it that good? Oh, Torrid's Bellam was built as a... This game, like, honestly, every single wonder I've tried to build this flipping game has gone, like, that was two turns away from it. So I won't say, oh, it was one turn away, because it was two turns away and the game knows it, but still. Oh. Also, this skirmisher is being really annoying because I'm chasing it down with a musket. You know what? Can't be bothered. Uh, I know I'm going to have to wait. Oh, I just want to kill it with the musket. Let me kill it with the flipping musket. All right, that's so many soothsayers into this city. Should we, should we just kind of accept that that's as good as it's going to get? Or do we just go, no, we are going to continue flipping. We're going to just continue flipping. Sod it. I answered my own question. Continue the flood. The flood. We also meet Gaul. Hello, Gaul. There are still people in the game we haven't met. I find that fascinating. There we go. The musket can finally get the kill. Yay! Square rigging. That gives me Granada and it's let me see the rest of Iberia. There's no Spain. 
Where's Spain? Weird. Didn't get selected to the game. Come on, Hong Kong. This should be enough. This should be enough. Oh, it took the horses first. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll continue to do this. Oh, look, look, there's more trade routes. More trade routes popping in now. So we still have the opportunity to do this. Finally, Moksha can build the first preserve. Let me just double check. So we've got this city doing this one. This city doing this one. This one will do this one. Okay, I was like... Just make sure that we've done these properly. We need a grove. How come I don't have enough for groves? Come on, I'm asking for all this gold per turn. This is why I ask for gold up front, you know? Then you have money to throw at things wildly and spuriously. <laughs> Where is my crazy spending if I'm getting it all up front? Yeah, like, like it's a per turn. Like, I, ugh, it's terrible. Look at this. Grove. Yay. Okay, well, that's at least one decent towel being worked there. Let's go and see if we can work a second. Here we go, Hong Kong and bump. Yes, yes, there's the citrus and bam. I think I have another monopoly. I think I have a third monopoly. I do. That is a third monopoly. What sort of crazy effects will that have? 2,184 tourism. <laughs> it's turn 155. I've actually done a really like pretty decent job at actually avoiding winning like it's it's been harder than you think to kind of avoid doing anything that would give me tourism so like i feel like i should be rewarded for that not that i feel like i should pat my own back often but i very much do library university and sancor da, 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 da. so an exciting news i'm almost at economics Ooh, ooh, nine turns of tech away, but I now have apostles with translator ready to bring Carthage into my religion. So that's quite a fun. Just one little pop and suddenly 80 science. And I've also got a couple of other cities of myself that are giving me science as well. So spreading religion, it will absolutely give me the extra science that I'm looking for. I've also, of course, still got soothsayers. I've just decided at this point to sink the world. It's, it's too fun. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> this expands further. What's this? What, what is this? <laughs> oh dear. I, this city founded like hardly any turns ago and already it's, it's well out there with being my best. It's a crazy, crazy city. And it's only getting crazier because these soothsayers are continuing to make an absolute nuisance of themselves. And I'm definitely not flooding the world. <laughs> also getting a huge amount of extra science as well. Bump. Lovely. That's 80. 80 extra. That's almost an extra turn's worth of science. I should have spread my religion earlier. My capital finally has an industrial zone. Way. I planned that from like almost turn one. Never got around to building it. But it's there now. That's what matters. Because don't forget my capital gets 25% extra production. So really it should have been doing that a lot earlier than it did. Never mind. Still doing all the flooding. This really isn't good for my empire, but never mind. Start to improve some of these tiles and see what the actual yields look like once they all go down. So, it doesn't really say much at the moment, but this tile here is 34 gold, 34 production and 38 food. We've done it. We've gone above 100 yield on one tile. Imagine if we've gone for vampires. Oh my goodness, could you imagine a world where we'd gone for vampires? Oh, it would have been so good. So good. World Congress time. Well, I guess that's probably fair. What should we vote for? I mean, don't really mind, do we? I'm going to say, I'm going to say duplicates of whales because maybe people will have those. And I'm going to go for melee units having more strength because sometimes people go for that. I don't think it really matters, being frank. We'll see what goes through. University of Zancor. We did it. <laughs> we finally did it. Okay. So basically, if people trade with this city, they get science and gold. That's not really going to happen because there's not many cities around this one. But I get plus two science for every trade route to that city. Again, not going to happen. Domestic trade routes give an additional plus one faith to this city. Yeah, sometimes that happens. It's a very badly worded wonder. And I don't think it's really going to do anything for me at all looking at it. Nope. None of my traders are actually going to benefit from that at all. So it is the perfectly pointless wonder. But as we all know, it is the best wonder in the game. Or so I'm told on a daily basis. <laughs> actually, we should have a think about where we're going to use our great merchants. So first one is going to be on this corporation. And then I need to go and find where the others are. 
where did I put the others? Second one was over there. Third one was here. That's my, oh, I think that's all my industries. Is that literally it? Do I only have three industries? I feel like I should have more industries than that. Oh, hang on. Why is that? Oh, it's oh, industrial roads. That's not what I wanted. And if I search for road in the exclusion box, it's not going to come up with anything, is it? Because if there's a road underneath, yeah, you see? It's not, that doesn't work either. Actually, no, it did work because then I can see another one up there. So I've got four. Apparently I have four. Does that check out with what I can see? I have two ivory and yeah, nothing else of anything else. Okay, that's fine. Cool. The only problem is that every time I use a soothsayer, it just removes all of the graphics from the tile. So I can't see how many yields are on the tile very easily, but I mean, these tiles are just getting better and better and better and better. That's the reason I was leaving the farms alone. It sounds crazy to say, but I wasn't improving them just because I didn't want to see the graphical glitch. That's literally the only reason. <laughs> it's such a lazy thing to say. Now that I say it out loud, but what can you do? Lots going on this turn. I built St. Basil's Cathedral because I had a ton of relics and I thought, you know what? What better than to build St. Basil's Cathedral in the middle of the desert? I love the irony. Also, I have Petra right next to it and a Sphinx. So this Sphinx is actually doing really, really well. Look at that, next to all of the exciting things. But also, the Statue of Liberty. I built that in five turns in my super city. It really is a super city. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm actually thinking of going to move my industry to this city. It's got gypsum. I could just move the gypsum to it. I don't know, we'll see. I mean, I guess whatever happens, I've got to find something for it to do now because it's, uh, it's doing... It's doing pretty well. I mean, the soothsayers are absolutely going crazy. I've just flooded um, permanently tiles on the first level. That's that's not overly good. And if I keep doing this, I'm going to continue flooding the world. Like, again, not that that's a bad thing. Just it's an observation. Oh, I've got almost 150 yield on one tile here. This city now has 346 production. He said that tiles don't do it, you know? That's, oh, it's mad. Well, hey, look at that. We can finally put down our second preserve tile. So Mendez got this one, which means this city is building this one. Let's just buy the tile and bump, plops it down. Here is the grove. Ho oh, ho, oh, actually getting some builders. What I found is if you put sphinxes down on the outside of all of these preserves, they start to give you some amazing yields on the tiles around it because the sphinxes give appeal to the surrounding tiles. It's really, really cool. Right, Moksha, off you pop. I'm going to send you over to my new city over here and we're going to use you to sort of abuse what's going on with Carthage. It's going to be very fun. We finally finished economics though, which is fantastic. Corporation time. These things are so good. Let's just consume it. Plus 60% production towards civilian units in the host city but the more important thing is that we now get to name our corporations something mature like Ursa Ryan's green salty balls mmm olives they're lovely we've got Ursa Ryan's sweet orange treats mmm delicious and as discussed I'm actually going to move this one the gypsum I am going to move across to my new city because it's just so much better so Let's just leave you on the gypsum. We'll just get ready to remove that improvement and then and remove it. So we can do that next turn, can't we? Because of the bridge. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, right. So we'll just remove this quickly. Nice. And then I'll improve it in a second. I think that's worth it. Well, now that I've beelined economics, we can kind of go for some actual useful text like cartography so that my units can actually move around at sea properly. I just at the moment I have amazing wooden sailing ships like privateers and they can't leave the coast. It's like they can't swim, it's really funny. Taj Mahal, I built this in two turns in my super city. Two whole turns, craziness. Needs more tiles actually. I've got so many things I want to do in this city and literally so little space to do it. Oh wow, Hillier Hills is really set to work on this. It's kind of just about, just about fitting on the map, it's good. So remove improvement, good. Now I can go and get this industry sorted and then I can go and put the great general, oh, sorry, great merchant on that next turn. That's 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 good. Oh, look at this science boost. Bump, 200. Lovely. Oh, I just had Patala Palace stolen from me again. How many wonders do you think I've had stolen this game? I reckon probably at least 10 by now. It's It felt like a lot. <laughs> for all the land I've got, for all the point score I've got, it just, yeah, it's all gone. Let's go towards industrialization. Maybe filling the world with smoke will make me feel better about everything. It's been a while, but Ursa Ryan's hard surprise. The finest gypsum corporation you'll find this side of Burrata. <laughs> oh anyway, this gives me 60% towards buildings 
in this city. I'm really, really expecting this to be able to just supercharge everything here. In fact, actually, I've got... I think I had the Hermitage, but I'm wondering if that's what I want to do now. I, I can't remember where I put it. What I want to do is put Big Ben down. What has it got to do? It's got to be on a river next to a commercial hub. feel like I have the tools for the job. This should be fine, so let's do it. I'm going to put the commercial hub down there, and then I'll put Big Ben down after it. Yeah, I like that. Oh, look, you knew it was close. You knew it was close. Oh, Patala Palace. I've got three turns on a stock exchange. That's serious production overflow. Oh, painful. Still flipping over Carthage's cities. Yes, lovely. Follow my religion. You know you want to. Actually, now that I've got Carthage, the cities are really disappointingly small in population. That's no fun. Oh, Eleanor, France. I really, really want you to do well one game. This city is sieged and is being destroyed. I don't feel like you're doing very well. I won't, um, I won't try and get to know you very well. <laughs> it's probably all downhill from here, isn't it? Let's face it. Hagia Sophia. This is a wonder that keeps floating. Every time I build it, it's really weird. Like, I, I never look at the actual positioning of it, but it always seems to be floating above the ground. It's not done it this time. It's actually put it on the ground. Gravity unfortunately has had its way but it's very smoky next to it Ugh. still that was a two-turn wonder for me um this city is uh spiraling out of control i think is the official term for it what's it on now 370 production and that's with minus 10 on amenities oh what's that you're saying this city could get even better well well you're absolutely right it could let's go for soothsayers in fact actually if i put liang in here I can give myself, what is it, waterworks, which would give me two housing for every neighborhood, and I could build a lot of neighborhoods here. Oh yes, I like this. Oh, this is a good plan. This is a plan that Ursa likes. Oh, another preserve has been done. There's another growth. The thing is, is this, is, uh, the Sahara's not even that good. I mean, look, this tile here, it's a glorious four food, five culture, four faith, one science, four gold. It should be amazing. But when I compare it to these tiles, this radiant, sickening tile of one culture, 48 gold, 45 production and 51 food, you start to think to yourself, what was the point of this when I can just do this? <laughs> Actually, it's, uh, its walls are broken and I just haven't been bothered to fix them. Look. The world's first circumnavigation it, it is, is pointless because I didn't actually prove the world was round. I just went from one side to the other. But I was the first to do it and I got six zero score for doing it. So there we go. Another merchant just gives me a new governor. Actually, I'm just going to pop you down quickly because as mentioned, I'm going to get Liang in this. This city is going to be a beautiful thing, a lovely thing. And uh, yeah, the soothsayers are back. I'm just, I can't help myself. They're too much fun. So first of all, let's get uh, Big Ben's interesting and fun, but I'm going to get a neighborhood quickly just to get some housing down so that the city continues to grow. And then I'll get Big Ben after that point. In fact, actually, look, Hermitage can be put on any river, I believe. But this is all floodplain. I've only got one tile. I'm only going to put it on Big Ben. I like Big Ben. The extra policy card is always really fun. But what are my policy cards? What am I even doing right now? <laughs> Who am I? Why? Why, what, and how? Republican legacy is good, I guess. Town charts, I don't really don't need this anymore because as good as my gilded vaults are, I've got so many yields, it's nonsense. Go for liberalism and I'll go for Medina Quarter. Both of these things make my cities just a little bit happier, including this, which now has, they go look a little bit more housing, so it's growing again. Huzzah, it has 200 food coming in. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh boy. The citizens of this have first to discover the only thing better than living in this is living in a slightly cleaner place outside of this. It's very confusing when you start adding that into sentences, but oh, look at that. So there was so much food. The city went from 21 to 22 population and then capped out and couldn't go any higher. So it couldn't get two population in the same turn. That's crazy how quickly that city is now growing. Oh boy, it's gonna get even crazier once the floods restart. <laughs> I mean, soothsayers are 1,000 faith, but luckily I have 1,000 faith coming in per turn. I literally cannot run out of floods. It's insane. The best bit is when you have like, I mean, this city here, my Petra city, the glorious pinnacle of being a desert city. With it's 41 production and 50 gold. Oh, such things. 
I've just got conservation, that's really cool. Such, such wonderful things, but no, this is just making it absolutely ridiculous with its 350 food and 390 production. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh yes, these are some silly numbers and they all keep growing, 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 growing. Oh yeah, sanctuaries. Oh, that's what I was getting excited about. Okay, right. Sanctuaries give me two science, two gold, two production for unimproved breathtaking tiles. Right. You ready for this? We've got four cities of which we can do this with. We'll go one sanctuary. We'll go for two sanctuaries. We'll go for three sanctuaries. And then we'll go for not a third sanctuary because we're still building the preserve. Hooray! Actually, this is really good. We've got some amazing tiles here. So amazing. You've never seen the likes of them. Oh wait, no, you, you definitely have. They're over here. <laughs> okay, let's just quickly pop this through. One, two, three, and then we'll go to there. Four. Oh no, that's a desert storm. Don't do that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the opposite of something useful. What just happened there? Hang on. That was two tiles damaged. Blech. That's not good. Where's it going? Northwest. Okay, at least it's going towards Carthage. I guess that's fine. Oh, check out this Alcazar. That's an eight appeal tile. So, boom, four science on that tile. Oh, yeah. God, I forget how good Alcazars and Sphinxes are as a combo. They make so much sense. Big burn. I just spent all my gold. I had about 10,000 gold, and now I've got almost zero. So, that was fun, <laughs> but I have another economic policy slot. So with the power of owls, I have managed to get myself two extra slots now. Boom. It's very London. In the middle of the desert, on top of the hill with the fountain. Well, there you go. Just because it's producing water, I think that's probably quite a worthy wonder to have in my empire. Lovely stuff. Oh, we're back down to limited housing again and everything's broken. Oh, that's the worst thing that can happen in big cities is when stuff gets broken like that. How frustrating. Okay, never mind. We'll instead start to pick up more neighborhoods. I'll just pop those down so the city continues to grow. You can see we've got more soothsayers still. The trick is to do this not on desert floodplain tiles because that has a chance of triggering other effects. I'm just doing it on the regular floodplain tiles. Oh yeah, look at that. It's actually removed some of the farms. That's no fun. Yay, I flooded some more land. What did I do this time? I did Coastal Lowland 3. Oh, that's actually probably more of a problem than I would realize. Let's have a quick look. Not in this city, not in my new super city, so that's fine. Uh, and there might be a bit of gypsum that's broken now and oh, quite a few tiles in my capital. Yeah, that's actually knocked out my resource monopoly. Ugh, that's no fun. Okay, maybe I should just calm down for a second <laughs> until I get seawalls. That's, uh, that's pretty devastating. Do you think we can settle just for a little bit with tiles of 60 gold, 60 production, 63 food? Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Just, just to, like, calm down just a little bit. Some people aren't going to like me spreading my religion, but, you know, take grievances. It's fine. That is flight, by the way, with that little boost. So we are now going to start getting tourism from all of our improvements. I have quite a bit in the way of tourism on improvements. I mean, some of these sphinxes are only generating two per turn. And uh, actually, it looks like the extra culture I get from resources is also being put into tourism. So I'm on two, three, two right now. Just keep an eye on that. We expect that to go just a little bit higher now. Yeah, 423. That's um, it's a little bit better. I'm getting 4,500 tourism per turn with Gaul. What about the culture leader, Pol um, Poland? Yeah, 4,500. Uh, and that's because I'm actually not receiving as much as I should, just purely because some of my stuff broke. I should just produce some projects, shouldn't I? Some, some of these products. Should I do that in a second? Let's go. Hang on, we've got to time this right. One product, two products. Then we'll go get the neighborhood, which I'll plonk down there. Then I'll go three, four, five, six, like that. The products will do nicely. It's gypsum. It gives me a whole one tourism, but it gives me 30% production towards buildings in the whole city. That makes a huge difference. Oh, these products are going to be a mighty, mighty, mighty things. Rushing towards computers as quickly as I can right now. Oh no, this dust storm is ripping through my land. Dear oh dear, I don't like that at all. Oh, that storm was devastating. Oh, it really, really did a number on me. Like, I, luckily it's finished now, but like it probably removed about 20 improvements. 
That's that's nasty. That's nasty. Hey, I finished my final grove. Woohoo! Da 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 da! We completed it. Our Sahara is looking beautiful. I actually managed to get quite a few of the tiles around it improved as well. I had to drop a couple of sphinxes in quite tactical places in order to make it work, but I think we did a good job. Yeah, I'm proud of that. That's um, that's fun. We've got more products now. Lovely. So, I mean, this this is is just producing tons of the damn things. It's it's wonderful. Probably should get another neighborhood in soon. Stop it from just falling away. We need to keep this city big and swole and delicious. Don't mind me, Rome. I'm just delivering 180 science worth of conversion to you. Oh yes, these apostles are doing good for me. Uh, I'm also now exploring into the UK. I wonder if Scotland is in the game. Golden Age. I think I'm going to go for reform the coinage because I've got so many trade routes. I think that's going to be quite amusing. Oh, so, actually, it was only worth 100 gold. It was not amusing. It was anything but. It was it was rubbish. You know, it's been actually remarkably difficult to close out this tourism victory. I'm kind of this game has been really really good fun. And I'm looking to round it out very soon. But hilariously, I'm having to actually now build some actual tourism because there's so many people and I'm so inefficiently doing this because I don't have uh Cristo Redentor actually oh if I get that wonder I probably just immediately won what is it just got to be on hills I really not got anywhere left to build that in this city probably not oh there is an antiquity site there ah ha 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 right uh if I put a theater square down somewhere oh I can't though without doing oh that's a bit of a pain I was like oh I really want to put that down can we make this city grow quicker grow quicker come on do it oh it's so boring oh well Leanne can now get fisheries which means that I can actually put fisheries down in my um town now so it's good so this is going to continue to make me lots and lots of stuff imagine if I'd gone void singers this game by the way what is it 20% on 1200 so that's 240 science culture and gold oh big yields tasty tasty yields here we go fisheries they give 0.5 housing that's the main reason I'm building them tasty appease the gods time Oh, I don't think we're actually going to get to the end of that one. We're very close to now winning. Uh oh, world's flooding again. It's still flooding. Why is it still flooding? I haven't done anything. I promise it wasn't me. Okay, everyone else is flooding the world now. Well, I just unlocked medieval walls. So because I've got 6,700 faith, it's just an exercise. I'm going to every single city now and just clicking medieval walls. This may take some time, but each one gives me two tourism and two tourism is multiplied by a thousand five hundred percent into a big number. Big numbers are what Ursa Ryan loves. You know, I so rarely get to do this, so I'm actually going to give it a go. What I was going to do is I was going to incite a couple of city state tribes to attack Gaul just because I can. How much is it? One thousand five hundred. Ooh, you go, man. Incite. <laughs> Oh, that's really funny. I'm going to do this one as well. Da, 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 da. They're going to be like, why are the barbarians so vicious? And we'll be like, hmm, don't worry about it. There's a free military unit as well. I got a knight. Oh, I made a national park as well because I could. Turns out I could make a couple. So yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, Amar. Oh, Amar was there the whole time. Well, that's a bit frustrating. That would have been a really useful one to figure out earlier on. Loads of extra faith. Oh, people keep siphoning. Oh my god, I physically do not have enough spies to stop them all. This is the only problem about going for a commercial hub run. You've got so many targets for the spies. <laughs> Literally, just like, there's nothing I can do. It's just everyone's in on my empire going om nom 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 nom. So like a national park. All the immunities that these things give off is actually kind of the main reason I'm looking forward to getting them. I think as well, I did just unlock Renaissance walls. So yet again, guess what we get to do between, I edit all this out so you don't have to see me go through 20, 30 cities, faith buying each one. The letters are a very useful thing, but I wish there was just like a buy all button you could press somewhere that's like, yeah, can you just, can you just do that for me? Thank you. Oh yeah, there we go. We finally got the tourism, which is, which is good. I was literally just about to build Cristo Redentor of Lex turn, which meant that I would have gained all of the tourism from the loss of enlightenment on my relics. And relics are giving me still like by far most of my tourism, like St. Basil's Cathedral is giving me 48. But I really enjoyed this game. This game was fun. Like we did such a solid job at converting the Nile into something beautiful. 
and usable. Hey! I actually thought the computer was just about to crash there, but it didn't. It thought about it. The culture victory is mine. So yeah, okay. Monopolies and corporations mode made that a little bit easier, but we kind of got out what we wanted to. We built, we enjoyed, we expanded, we tested a good monumentality strat with some fun religion. And considering the size of the map, I could have sat there and got a science victory pretty easily. Quite like that outcome. It's pretty good. There is, I have seen actually, just out of curiosity, there are a couple of mods that I've seen on my Discord subsequent to me filming the majority of this series that seem to fix a lot of the problems with more corporations and monopolies mode that I've seen. That's really exciting. So I will give those a go soon because I think it would be really good to play with that mode more often if the game was fixed a bit. Cities captured. Uh, not me. I was very kind. Cities founded. Look at that. Look how many more uh, cities I founded than everyone else. There's a lot of people that just didn't get out of the game at all because of the way the game rendered in. Great people. I did really well. That was basically just engineers, profits, and uh, merchants. So we did really well. Culture-wise, I was well into the game. I took the culture lead from Poland briefly before then claiming it back later. Science-wise, I never took the lead. Babylon. Is that Babylon that was doing that? They were. That's half science as well. Goodness me, Babylon were having an absolute game. Look at that. Score from halfway through. That was literally just expansion. I was doing so well getting out of the blocks on that game. Religions founded. I got the first religion. Nice. It's good to know that I can still rush a religion on deity. Always nice to see. Wonders constructed. I got a bit bored towards the end and went blah 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 All of those. Wars declared. None. Uh, how many... Uh, let's have a quick look at just battles. Units killed. Quite a few. They were mainly barbs. Units lost? Not many, actually. I think I lost one, two, three, four, five, six, six units. I'll take that. But I'll leave you with a couple of shots just to give you an image of what this game looked like. First of all, we have to go to this crazy city of this. It still has 430 production, even though it's hemorrhaging 100 from a lack of amenities. And this tile, I mean, look at it. You know what, actually, sod it. We've got some, we've got some soothsayers in. Uh, let me just quickly vote, which we've now done. Cause disaster, will cause disaster, will cause disaster, and cause disaster. There we go, all the extra floods. Let's have a look at the tiles. The final yield count on these tiles. I wish they weren't so buggy. What a shame, but 62 gold, 63 production, 67 food. Oh, just under 200 yield on a single tile. That is an insane bunch of yields. Look at that. We've got over, oh, we've got minus 30% on food. That's nuts. And we still have 360. We haven't even gone for trade routes out of the city. That's purely on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles of producing all those yields. That is crazy. Oh man, I oh you know what? We're gonna have to come back to this and make a a silly mod. I think something silly that gets us going. I mean, that's I think that's worth a game, isn't it? But I also want to leave you with a shot of the Nile. Look at it. I developed it from a desolate wasteland of desert. It's beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. Just looking at the Nile go down all the way. Civilization, either side of it. Oh, beautiful. Look at my Petra city. Look how glorious it is. Look at Petra next to some beautiful sphinxes next to St. Basil's Cathedral, of course. <laughs> right in the desert where it belongs. Oh, what a game. I mean, that was fine considering just how many wonders we lost at the end of the game. I am um, I'm pretty proud of what we accomplished. These large games take a huge amount of time to film, so if you were ever considering supporting the channel, I do have a coffee, I do have a Patreon. Come and just lend your support. You can actually help to plan the next series in the A to Z. And if that's not your cup of tea, that's absolutely fine. The main thing that you can do is like and share the videos out. Send them into the wider web. Find your friends who haven't subscribed to the Glory of Ursa Ryan and pin them down and say why. Why? Why, friend? I thought I knew you. I thought I understood you, but clearly I don't because your judgment is flawed. And just keep doing that until they either think you've gone mad or they get guilt tripped into it. One of the two. I'll take both scenarios. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Critties, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Portland, Petra Ryan, 
Matthew Hatch, Emir EC, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, and Private Selection Genoa Salami for all of your support as well as everybody that leaves comments and interacts with the channel generally. Thank you so much. See you all next time.